So using the Spark Fun Kit has definitely opened up the way I teach into less of a just me giving them information and them struggling with it and then finding it on their own. I've learned a lot to just step back and not help them as much. Like this doesn't work and I'm just like, it will if you go back and work on it for a little more. So it's definitely more of a leading them and letting them discover it on their own system, which I really enjoy. I'm a lot more of a kinetic learner. So using the kit, what really helps me to um, get more hands-on experience and that's how I tend to learn. So for like all the kinetic thinkers and all that, even like visual and all that, it really helps. I like how there's so many things that you can do and you don't need to necessarily need to stick to the actual book that we're given. But the majority of kids love coming into class and doing something. I'd say it's a different type of engagement. Um, mm -hmm. It is controlled chaos, and I think that <laughs> great learning takes place in that kind of environment. Um, and I think that makes it an, an invigorating class to come to. Um, and I think there's ownership. You get to mm -hmm. determine a great deal about what your curriculum looks like, what skills you're gonna to explore. And also the, the important part that students do now is the research, the outside research on that. They are in charge of their, their growth and, and development. And I think that that's a really great life lesson that they'll continue on with. And it's taking of responsibility. Yeah. Th that's the Critical. thing that's gonna hold them in good stead throughout the rest of their adult lives. It's how do I take responsibility for what do I not know? What do I do know? How do I transmit that to others? And how do I move a situation to a new place? I think the approach of a hands-on kit helps them immensely through the rest of the years here at school and then also on further. I've heard from our other bio teachers that when they get to the labs there, the kids who've gone through this program are much more adept at being able to actually do the labs with their hands than the kids who don't go through this program don't know how to do things, they don't know how to build things or take things apart. And so it's already helped them for just the next year of science. As they go through to graduate into jobs and careers, being able to manipulate things and figure out and solve problems on their own versus just sitting there and being told what to do is a huge help. It's definitely a different teaching style than what other science courses have been or like were in the past but it's definitely something that engages the students and something that at least even if you don't like it you should try it because it's a different way of learning. You're teaching them how to think through problems and I think what our Bio 1 people are starting to see is the kids are more adept at troubleshooting and they're more adept at working with their hands, which is really a big thing when you're gonna go over there and work in a lab instead of just computer program. I think the biggest surprise so far is finding those students who don't test well in a normal school system. They do their homework, and but they just do poorly on tests and quizzes, and so their overall grade is quite low, and then they get these hands-on kits, and they just excel to the top of the class because it's something that they can work on and do meticulously themselves. The big tell for me on that is where if I'm teaching a traditional class, my experience is that the kids are coming in with one minute to go before we begin class. With this, I've got kids coming in 10 minutes before class, getting set up in the lab, and starting work. So to me, I think we've created an environment for learning that is attractive to the majority of the kids and, uh, and that they are finding compelling.